Have you ever wondered what the black bars are that you see at the top and bottom of a movie? Those are created by a lens used in Hollywood all the time called an anamorphic lens. And as you're about to see, they're pretty awesome. So check it out. I hope you enjoyed that b-roll sequence. The lens I used was from Moment, so I used the Moment app in Filmic Pro, and let me just tell you, I've used so many lenses from my iPhone over the years, but this one blows the other ones out of the water. Hands down it was the best, and it was a blast to use. So I love the cinematic look you get when you use an anamorphic lens. I'm sure you've seen all over YouTube when YouTubers add the black bars on top and bottom of their videos. I've done that in the past as well. And they're just trying to mimic this lens. And for DSLRs and other cameras, like they are in the thousands of dollars and just insanely expensive. But this Moment one is a lens that anyone could buy. Definitely my favorite feature of this lens is the lens flare. That beautiful horizontal lens flare gives the footage a unique character that makes it feel like you're watching a movie in the theater and few lenses can do that. And it's, oh man, it's awesome. If you found this video interesting, I also have a mini series I made about using DJI Osmo Mobile 2, a phone gimbal with the iPhone XS Max. And so I'll have that linked in the description below. Always check out the descriptions for my videos. I try to put as much useful information down there as I can, so don't forget. If you're thinking about getting an anamorphic lens for your phone, I'd say go for it. They're so much fun to use, and honestly, I don't think you're gonna go wrong with it. If you do choose to get one, let me know what you think, and if you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments section below or on Twitter. And until next time, have an awesome week. Every YouTuber, it seems, likes to close their video by putting their hand over the lens or something. I wanna try something different.